This is a serious occasion, but not a somber one. As far as weddings go, this one might seem rather conventional, with rings. Bless, O Lord, the giving and receiving of these rings. With vows. I declare that they are to live together and are now joined in marriage. With a three-tiered cake. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> but the two plastic rooms sitting atop that cake, and the real ones smiling right behind it, were rather unexpected sights in 1971. Everyone thought it was impossible and illegal, and we proved that it was not only not illegal, but it was not impossible. Their story starts in the 1960s, when Michael McConnell and Jack Baker were students at the University of Oklahoma and met at a party. Six months later, Jack proposed. And I said, well, I'll commit on one condition. You have to find a way for us to get legally married. And he said, well, looks like I'm going to have to go to law school. And that's exactly what Jack did, meticulously studying the law after the couple moved to Minnesota. I found the, the marriage statute in Minnesota. I found that there was nothing in there that said that we couldn't get married. So they applied for a marriage license in Hennepin County, but they were denied. That's when the men hatched a clever plot. Jack legally changed his name to one that's more gender neutral, Pat Lynn. And Michael applied for a marriage license in another county, and the unsuspecting clerk issued it. Michael and Jack have pledged their faith. They have publicly declared their love. Before county officials could figure it out, the men quickly wed in a small ceremony with a Methodist pastor. Those two grooms on the cake came from bride and groom toppers that were snapped in half. We prevailed, and I'm quite happy about that. Their story is now the subject of an illustrated children's book written by Rob Sanders. Here's two guys doing the improbable, overcoming obstacles, being told no, but persevering. The book is called Two Grooms on a Cake, the story of America's first gay wedding. Sanders compares baking a cake to forming a relationship. Both need time and love. When parents and kids read this book, what do you hope is their takeaway? I hope that parents and kids, their teachers, their librarians, realize that when you see injustice, that there's no one better to fight against injustice than yourself. For Michael and Jack, it's an honor to share their story, the tale of two grooms guided by two principles. The first is full and absolute equality for all people. No exceptions, no excuses. And then our second one, love is the most powerful force in the universe. It can and does transform everything. Here's an important detail. Even though they were issued a license in 1971, the county refused to record their marriage, which meant they could not receive spousal benefits. Now, you'd think when Minnesota legalized same-sex marriage in 2013 that Michael and Jack would have just applied for a new marriage license. But that's not what they wanted. They wanted the state to recognize their marriage from 1971. Mm. And in 2018, that finally happened when a judge ruled, yes, that marriage is valid. Wow. Means they'll celebrate their wow. 50th wedding anniversary That's this amazing. year. Well, if Jack is some legal scholar, yeah. among yeah. other things. Wow. Pretty yeah, cool. and, and they're very patient, too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Joe, thank you for that. We should mention, by the way, for more information on that book, you can head to today.com slash shop. Great story, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.